grows. Hey socialites, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Ariel. I create beauty and fashion videos as well as lifestyle vlogs like these. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you too can become a socialite. Welcome to day five in Vlogmas. Today is gonna be a pretty chill day. I just got back from Sam's picking up some wrapping paper for the, for the presents for the Christmas tree. So the gifts are starting to pile up and I'm trying to go ahead and wrap them now so it's not just a ton, ton, ton of gifts that I'm trying to wrap like the day before. I need to, I don't even have enough space for this stuff. <laughs> So just left Sam's, got some wrapping paper. I'm really glad that we started early this year because the paper that I really wanted last year, we couldn't get because we waited like a few days before Christmas. But now they were fully in stock with everything that we needed. So that worked out perfectly. Um, but now I'm just eating some pizza. So you guys know I don't eat white starchy carbs only once a week. I only give myself one meal per week that incorporates something like that. So this pizza, I found this really cool pizza spot that my homegirl told me about called Pizza Parlor. It's in the Houston area and they have all kind of specialty pizzas that are really good. And this pizza is made with cauliflower crust and it's so delicious, you guys, you would never be able to tell the difference. She also put me on putting Pico on pizza. You guys, she, look, she had to pull my arm to get me to try this pizza. I was like, there's no way I'll like pico on pizza and now it's literally my favorite I, I i have my whole household eating it mm. i highly encourage you to try it all of us eat different types of pizza and it works with any kind of pizza that's the good thing no matter what toppings you get if you put the pizza the pico on top of it so good highly recommend if you guys have tried it before comment down below if you're gonna try it which i highly suggest you do come back and let me know what you think about it so i did go to sam's and this is just the simple outfit of the day is this i guess it's a shoulder pad puffy sleeved sweatshirt and this is from H&M and then these wide leg cargo pants. I had these in a recent haul. These are from Fashion Nova and then just my regular Uggs. I have like two pair of these exact same Uggs. Just super, super comfortable. Throw them on just for whatever. These are probably my most worn shoe that I wear nearly every day because they feel so good. But yeah so time to unlock day five on the advent calendar so let's open it up and day five is right here so let's see what we got y'all okay so what we have is a plumpkin it has a little pumpkin on it a plumpkin retinol eye cream from Tony Molly. So I've never heard of the brand to Tony Molly. Okay, so it's an under eye cream. You guys, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna stop <laughs> testing this stuff on my skin. I don't know if you, you guys can see, but my cheeks are starting to really flare up and break out. They're swollen from trying these creams that I've been trying. Now, the first couple days, it was really good. I was using the um, that Lancome Youth Serum and it just made my skin really plump and it looked nice. But like day two, it just kept getting plumper and now it's like my pores seem to be turning inside out. <laughs> So I don't think that retinol is something that I can use daily. And I'm noticing that a lot of these creams that have been coming in the kit have retinol in it. And I think it may be too strong for me because it's really making my cheeks flare up. <laughs> so we're going to open this stuff up, but I'm not really going to try it out. But what I want you guys to do, if you've tried any of these things that I've showed you, comment down below and let me know how it worked for you. And then maybe we can go from there because I think just testing it on my skin is just 
really making my cheeks flare up and they're kind of sore they're really sore actually <laughs> so yeah that's what we got today so i'm gonna be wrapping gifts and putting them under the tree so let's get started Okay, you guys, that's only some of their gifts. My kids are the only grandkids. I don't want to let the gifts keep coming and piling up because the past few years I did that and I didn't wrap gifts to the night before and it took hours, like all night long type hours. So I was like, you know what? As they come in every few days, if I start wrapping gifts, then I just won't have like a ton, ton, ton of gifts. Um... So yeah, y'all, and I don't wrap the gifts the best. <laughs> I'm not the best gift wrapper, okay? I'm that friend that when I buy you a gift, I take it to Dillard's. I usually buy the gifts in Dillard's, and I take it to the little gift wrapping section in Dillard's and pay them to wrap it all nice and pretty because, look, I don't know how to get it perfect, but I'm going to do my best, but I was so happy. Let me show y'all the paper, y'all. The silver metallic, and when you go to Sam's, look, you get a lot. You know, when you go to like Walmart and a dollar store, they only give you enough to wrap like one or two gifts. This is a lot of paper. It's like super heavy. So I got metallic silver, of course, since the tree is black and silver. I got three of these big ones. And then I got one gold because I have a few. Um, I have a few of the... Um, gold ornaments on a tree just a few gold ornaments so i felt like okay let's get gold and then we could do a few you know wrap some of the gifts with gold and have like accents of gold underneath the tree so i need to do inventory i have to open everything up notate exactly what it is um before i wrap everything and just keep a log of it so that the different friends and family members that sent them stuff I can know if it came or not, you know, so I can let everybody know, yeah, this came or that came. We're going to do inventory and start wrapping. <laughs> That's all the stuff that I have in here that just came in. There's a few more things, maybe about five to ten more things that I've been getting like over like the past three months. Not too, too much, um, but things that I've collected that I knew I was going to wait till Christmas to get them. So I'll do those tomorrow. So today I'll concentrate on this, but I just had an idea. A lot of this stuff I feel like can go in boxes to group together, you know, like some of the smaller things instead of wrapping them individual. Um, I can get like some of these boxes I just open and then like group like at least a few of them together. And then, you know, because it's for the same kid, right? <laughs> so for time purposes, I feel like I can do it that way and it'll be a little bit more efficient. So actually, yes, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs>
super proud of myself right now. <laughs> oh my God. Look, I fit everything. Let me show y'all. I didn't want all of the Amazon boxes to get my bed dirty, but look, I fit almost everything in just these boxes. So I just grouped a lot of their stuff together. So I think that's what I'm gonna do with everything as it comes in, just start putting it in separate boxes and do it like that. So now I'm not wrapping 101 gifts and then it'll fit under the tree this way instead of taking up the whole entire living room. <laughs> I love when the um, wrapping paper has these lines on it, like the grid. It makes it so much easier to cut the paper, y'all, because you just go along the pre-made grid. Uh-oh. Gift one is officially wrapped. I didn't do too bad. Hey, I didn't do too bad, y'all. Okay, one down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One down, about eight or nine left to go. So let's put an initial on here so we can know whose it is. On to the next. ceiling fan on I only have three boxes left no four I got one more on the ground so I have four more left and I'm about to take me a water break and finish it this is it for the day so Trey I wrapped his in gold and AJ I wrapped hers in silver so I could know whose is what we're done
Don't you stick to show me love Cause too fresh with the scars